Just a quick note about um, terminology that we should be familiar with. Many of us are familiar with the terms, and uh, if I look over here, sorry, familiar with these terms, megabyte, gigabyte, that sort of thing. But uh, to be more, t we need to also understand, and this is becoming much more common, we need to be more technically precise. Um, so normally a kilobyte represented by K or KB we refer to as a thousand bytes, right? A megabyte is referred to with an M and it's a million bytes and giga is a billion and tera is a trillion, so forth and so on and so on. Now, it's becoming more increasingly common and more precise to use the following prefixes. Ki, kibibyte. Mi, mebibyte. Gi, gibibyte and so forth and so on. Now, what's the difference? You can probably spot here really quick. Uh, the uh, standard way of doing it was we use a base 10 computation. So 10 to the third is a, a thousand. But the more technically precise way of doing it is two to the 10th. So, or base two computation. And so, Notice that there are you know, close enough approximations. So a megabyte is a million bytes, but a megabyte is 1,048,576 bytes. And um, this will play an important part, especially if you partition your disk, at least in Linux. Uh, if you choose just capital M, it'll format it down here as base 10 versus if you use uh, M... I think it's M-I-B, uh, it will format it the more precise mode. So you need to be careful of what you're choosing because if you don't, then your numbers won't match up. And I think it's good to be aware of anyways so you can, when you come across these symbols, you know what they mean. I've seen them mostly used with um, data storage, but I suppose they could also be used with uh, uh, data flowing over a network in terms of network speed. 